Hello, welcome to Miss Divinity. I am here with your bi-weekly general reading for the lovely sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of May 15th through May 31st. If this reading does not resonate with you, check back, spin the block again uh, next time or get a personal reading from someone you trust like myself or someone else. If it's from me, reach out to me at mrvenergy at gmail.com or uh, reach out on the link connected to Wizio, and it'll explain to you how to book a reading that way. Or like I said, you can just reach out to my Gmail if you have any questions. All that'll be in the description box below. Uh, but if it don't resonate, say it with me now. There are 999,000 other readers out there. <laughs> As I always say, there is someone for you. Do not force it. I got rubber bands here. All right, Kathy, it's been a while. Um, I actually pulled these. This is a Zodiac game I had, like a little horoscope game. We'll probably play it one day. Um, and it has all the Zodiacs here, and I shook them up and pulled them. And Capricorn, you were the second sign. So let's get to it. This is a general, if you love, career, whatever comes out, comes out. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. All right, let's get to it. Holy Spirit of Archangels, what, what message do you have for Capricorn at this time? What do you need to know? Okay, we have laugh at your demons and choose friends wisely, okay? So um, some of you Cappies could be um, maybe dealing with addictions, maybe dealing with, and that could be a drug, a drink, a person, uh, a situation, um, it could be anything, okay? So it's telling you right now, if you're trying to overcome something or some type of habit or some type of bad personality trait, um, it's just saying don't be too hard on yourself, laugh at your demons, because possibly you could be trying to work on this about yourself. Um, so when you actually take accountability and start trying to work, work on yourself or the things that you don't find too highly appeasing about yourself. Sometimes you can be hard on ourselves. So don't do that. At least you're trying to put in the work to change it, okay? Also choose friends wisely. Um, for some, it could be some friends uh, that are irritating you right now. You might be trying to elevate and trying to grow and these friends could still be kind of like 10 steps behind you, okay? So if you are trying to battle some type of addiction, don't hang with your friends that, like say if it's liquor, don't hang with your friends that drink. That don't make no sense, okay? If you're trying not to gossip, don't hang with the friends that's always in the mess and got the tea. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what you're trying to do as well. Uh -oh. Too many cards? Correct your mistakes. I told you, I'm getting the energy of trying to change and do better, uh, some type of growth. Uh, and like I said, for anyone that's not on board with you after you let them know your boundaries, hey, I don't want to go out and drink no more. Hey, I don't, I'm trying to smoke every other day. Or, hey, I, I don't, I don't want to go club hopping as much. Or whatever the case is. Um, then you need to cut them off, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have be of service. So maybe uh, you're needing to do this because it's a particular job you want. Or you're trying to change into some other type of lane. Of maybe you're trying to get into spirituality or whatever the case may be. Um, for some, you might be trying to be an addiction counselor or some type of counselor where you help people that are trying to overcome things, okay? And you don't want, I see I'm here a hypocrite. You don't want to be a hypocrite, whatever this is. Okay, let's keep going. So you might have to get a new circle of friends if your friends can't respect this. And also, don't try to be too perfect, okay? Like, say if you're trying to go to the gym every day and you miss a day, don't be too hard on yourself. So, we have the truth, okay? Hopefully, I'm not too far away. It says, you cannot be truthful with another person unless you are first truthful and honest with yourself. The truth is not afraid of questions. I told you, it's giving me some type of scenario where it's like you're trying to do better. You're trying to face the truth. You're trying to face the music is what I'm hearing. You're trying to, uh, you're looking at yourself in the mirror, okay? And you're looking at 
in some situations how to chew help it along, okay? You're trying not to be in victim mentality or any of that. You're just trying to take accountability. I'm feeling a lot of accountability, okay? The initiate, okay? Also, Sagittarius got this card too. Some of you guys could be around Sagittarius, but this is like the energy of the, the beginning something. Acknowledge what you do not know and learn with the beginner's mind so you can be accepted as an authority one day. Yeah, it's like you're trying to start off and do better at something. Uh, I'm here like a master's degree. Maybe you're starting off like with an associate's or a bachelor's and you want to take this all the way to the top. Maybe you're just beginning, okay? And you want to build on solid ground is what I'm hearing as well, all right? So something that you're taking serious at this time, okay? Let's pull the Rebel deck and see what's going on. Yeah, you, you're acknowledging that, hey, you don't know everything, but you are, maybe you're going to a counselor or you're you're somebody that is good at whatever this is that you are trying to do or implement. Like if you're going to the gym, you're getting a personal trainer or what, you're with your friends that work out or, you know, things like that. Trying to find like-minded individuals. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Some of you guys might be trying to pursue your purpose. Like, you might be thinking, like, what am I really here for? Am I really just here to work a nine up to five, buy a house, have a family, and die? Like, some of you guys, not saying there's anything wrong with that, having a comfortable life and, you know, just doing what you need to do on a daily basis. But some people, it's like, mm, it feels like they need to do more. And maybe you're at that point. Um, make it rain. I also feel that it's money coming in as well. Also, if you are trying to find this path of purpose, this could also bring you a nice amount of money as well. Usually, if it's your purpose, you'll enjoy doing it. It won't feel like work and it'll usually bring you in more money because you actually like this. But I feel like you really need to pay attention to the people around you because um, that could have an influence. Okay. You see, don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. Yeah, some of you guys might be trying to elevate at this time. And you're trying to separate yourself, setting yourself aside. See, you're giving too many fucks. Give zero. So Holy Spirit wants you in the energy of focusing on yourself, you and yours. Uh, watering your own damn grass, okay? Um, right now, you might need to take a step back from... I wanted to say for friends. I was thinking like family, family and friends, but it keeps giving the emphasis on friends, okay? Um, that leads me to my angel deck for a moment. How you guys been doing? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm coming up in another video as well. So you get those notifications. Share, 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 like, like, like. Okay, we have three. Some of you guys are um, getting into meditation or needing to. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. I told you, you're trying to release some old things. Debris. Maybe you're spring cleaning. Maybe you're just like, you know, I'm trying to eat good. I'm trying to clean up more. I'm trying to just do better in life. Okay, I don't know. I'm hearing something hit you. Okay, I hope nothing literally hits you. But maybe you've had an epiphany recently or will be. And it's like, man, I need to get my shit together. <laughs> Okay, Kathy. Usually y'all do got y'all shit together, but okay. Play as fuck up too. <laughs> so we have relationship harmony. Maybe you're trying to work on the relationships in your life and overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. If you're going through anything, you're definitely going to get through it. Uh, we have relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So maybe during Mercury retrograde energy the last couple of weeks in the past month, uh, April-ish, um, it was really difficult. Uh, relationships and situations were just crazy. And it's like Holy Spirit is saying you can breathe. Maybe you were introduced to meditation and that helped you through that time, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing like rest, back away. Maybe you need to give people a rest or back away from some things. Uh -uh. See, movement, choices, and decisions. You're making your next move, your best move. You're focusing on life and trying to figure out what you want to do. This could have been due to a heartache or some type of loss. It triggered some type of moment where it's like, I need an epiphany. Yeah, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, you're reflecting on yourself, your shadow side. You're looking at the sides that are not so good. 
and are so good. Again, you have choose wisely. I don't know where you keep getting this. You may have got to choose friends wisely, and now you got to choose wisely. So, and then you have movement choices and decisions, like, okay, like it's some type of choice. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna kind of pull on it. But we'll pull on that in a second. Yeah, it's some choices that'll be coming up. Or you're just in a pivotal crossroad in your life right now. That flew out. Badger Spirit, I believe Sagi got this too. Be fearless and bold. So whatever decisions you want to wake, who cares who don't like them, you want to wake. Okay, somebody could be waking up. I said whatever choices that is just decisions you want to wake. I meant to say make. So maybe some of you guys are waking up, okay? See, as soon as I said somebody's waking up, it's an owl spirit. You see clearly now. Yeah, you're tapped in, okay? Uh, we have be spirit, sweet, results, await. Believe in yourself. I usually don't take all these, but they came out. And take a leap of faith. Yeah, believe in yourself. Take a leap of faith because sweet results await. I'm telling you, some of you guys can be seeing bees, squirrels. Maybe you guys are really getting into nature and paying attention. But it's something you see clearly now. So don't be scared. Don't be uh, fearful, okay? Make this choice. Make your next move your best move, all right? Bottom of the deck. Use your mind wisely. Very intelligent. Mm, I looked at the clock. It was 11.22. So you guys could be seeing 11.22. Not the clock, but the timer on the video. And 11.22. Too many cards came out. Yeah, some choice you got to make. Owning my power inspires others to do the same. I am not afraid to shine. You see what I'm saying? Your love. Be fearless and bold. Uh, face your demons. Like, you got a lot going on right now. You're doing some... I want to say superhero, superpower. I don't know what you got going on, Kathy. But it's strong, whatever it is. You're owning your power. You're not dumbing yourself down anymore, okay? You could be a speaker or a reader or... See, my power lies in my peaceful resilience to keep going, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is interesting. You may have, I'm hearing baffled. You may have people around you baffled because maybe you did a whole 180, 360, U turn, whatever. Going the other way. Like, say if you were a fuck up, like all of a sudden you're doing good. You're moral oral all of a sudden. If you know they show on the dose one moral oral where you was always doing everything right, and everybody's looking like, what the fuck? So you just quit drinking, smoking, you're celibate. Uh, you're, you know what I'm saying? You're starting to be like, you're, you're on it, Kathy. Some type of epiphany, like you're gonna realize something and it's like you're getting in line. When I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know when or how it will happen. Okay, so this might just be a feeling that you're feeling. You don't know why. You don't know why it hit you so hard, but it did. And whew, the pieces are coming together. I'm seeing like a puzzle. Somebody saw you guys to be doing puzzles or like to do puzzles. Mm. Too many cards. Sorry, guys. Like five. I'm here wonderfully and intricately made. Whatever that means. I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know how that goes in this reading. Too many. For some, this could be too much. This this 180 that you're doing for some. Um, kind of, you know, you know how you wake up for the ones that are woke or whatever, okay? Everybody's woke nowadays, let them tell it. But you know what I mean. See, we got false beliefs. I couldn't even get it out. Um, you know how you wake up? I'd say like some Matrix type shit. If you've seen the movie, you've seen it. If you didn't, look at it. And it's like you can't go back to sleep. And it's like you want to tell the world, I went through that. No, it's not for you to tell the world. It's for you to find a tribe and tell them because most people will blow you off and think that you're crazy because the information is not for them. They can't even process it. Okay, so watch who you, you know, it's like, oh, yes, I want to go to the gym every day. Like, bitch, you didn't want to go to the gym last week. Don't try to make us all go to the goddamn gym because you didn't got your life together. Don't be that person. And, and it's so exciting when you wake up. You want to tell the world, tell your family. But everybody is on their own journey. Let people know a couple times, but don't badger them, okay? I'm not saying don't tell them, but, you know, put them on game. And if they want to accept, here's the invitation. If not, you know, don't be forceful, okay? 
So as I was saying that the false beliefs card 13, yes, yeah, some things, um, have some endings. 13 is like the number of death, which means endings. So <clears throat> some stuff you're putting in behind you. Again, we have another owl. If we had an owl here and there's an owl on this card, something that you wisened up about. And then we have wise in here as well. Once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illum illuminated, illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to. Yeah, somebody is waking up. This might not be for everybody, but somebody has seen the damn light, okay? Maybe somebody had like a near-death experience and they're like, fuck that, I gotta get my shit together. I don't know. This is pretty drastic, okay? I'm um, trying to see if I pulled everything that I needed to on this side. Um... Yeah, this is crazy, guys. So, did I pull one of these? Okay, I didn't pull one of these. So you definitely got some choices. Let's see, magic. For some of you guys, you might be into like um, manifesting, uh, meditation. Uh, you guys know I don't uh, do. I don't dabble in witchcraft or anything, but to each his own. It's just not my lane. I just get intuitive messages and feel energy. Um, but like I said, some of you guys could be into crystals, uh, maybe spell work. Um, but somebody could be uh, studying quantum leap, jump, physics. Yeah, it's like you're seeing some stuff and it's like it's giving you other perspectives on life. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing yoga for some. Some of you guys are like learning to align your chakras. Yeah, it's giving me like somebody new to the spiritual realm. And it's like, oh my goodness, everything is cool. Yeah, somebody is like buying these beads. She has like a beaded, like just like I do. Yeah, you might be into these now. You guys can have heavy cancer in your chart. See treasure. Um, somebody could be giving someone these beads, or somebody did, and it's like you maybe researched the crystals, and then you went down some rabbit hole, and now it's like, wow, okay, it led you to a whole nother other thing. It could be an Aquarius for you guys. Somebody could be uh, guiding you spiritually. Some of you guys could like it by the water too. It's peaceful. Yeah, a truth, again, we have wisdom all over the place. We have owls everywhere, and everybody knows that, well, most people know that owls are, uh, are uh, a showcase for wisdom. Uh, we have false beliefs here. We had believe in yourself. We had the truth. That's what I wanted this card, the truth. And we have another truth. Somebody or somebody is now a truther. Like a conspiracy theory, like me, a conspiracy theory, a, a truther, but the shit be true. Um, yeah, somebody has jumped to the other side. Welcome. <laughs> but yeah, we do have two. Somebody could have gotten a new, like a spiritual tattoo or something. Somebody could like daisies. Okay, somebody could sit by a fountain. I keep getting somebody that likes water. Bottom of the deck. Sovereign. Yeah, the other thing where it was like the initiate, like, yeah, Holy Spirit, you are waking up. You realize some things now. You realize that life ain't just life. We're not just getting up and going to work. There's something deeper behind the scenes. Yeah, somebody could be watching The Matrix. Maybe that's what did it. Like, wow, this Matrix movie is kind of like what I'm going through in life. Something like that, okay? Whatever, guys, okay? Congratulations. Welcome. <laughs> I'm going to pull a couple of these. They're just random words. We have Skype. Maybe somebody's using Skype. We have the Gilmore Boys. Yeah, it could be like a group of friends. But maybe they're like, they're not really into what you're into. Yeah, we have the green M&M. I told you, usually it's always about the red one and the yellow one. Aren't those the two or the blue? Whatever. They don't really show the green M&M like that, though. Like somebody sees you as different. Like nobody, I don't, I don't know why I'm saying nobody wants the green M&M. Yeah, it's, you're different. We have Dora the Explorer, too. Somebody is doing like some research and shit, all right? 
and they done researched up on some shit that makes sense. And it's like you're just looking for truth now. You've been digging for truth. Sagittarius got this too. The Grey's Anatomy uh, PH box set. Maybe you were the type of person that were kind of like stuck in your ways, but now you are like, wow, this shit can have some truth to it. Um, yeah, like before you could have been like one of those people that if you have game or rage with the VHS box set, set before you could have been like one of those people that um, get upset when people try to talk about that woke shit. It's like, oh, shut the fuck up, you know? And now it's like, I'm one of them. Like you could be shocked as shit. Okay, we're gonna put a little tarot. It's like you might even be appalled, like, oh, something got on my cards. Oh, I think it was hot sauce from lunch earlier. Excuse me, guys, for that. This is for a little bit. Um, yeah, it's like you're appalled. Like, I can't believe I'm one of them now. <laughs> we have the six of wands, swiftness. Okay, we have the two of cups. Yeah, somebody was researching something. Doing a lot of stuff on the internet. Maybe scrolling on their phone all night. Somebody have a tattoo of a lotus. Okay. Again, we have the match. Again, somebody is by this computer thinking like, oh my goodness. Like he looks like he has found something out. We have five of swords. Bottom of the deck, success. Somebody could have gave you like some information or gave you like a snippet of knowledge and you went and researched it. And they were like, you know what? Listen to this person or look at this page. And it's like, okay, just check it out and tell me what you think. And it's like opened your whole world. For some, somebody could have did some type of drug. I'm not into it. LSD or maybe like mushrooms or something. And that could have also triggered some type of awakening. Okay. For some, back to those uh, bad habits. Uh, drinking, drugs. Um, somebody is doing good with trying to push that to the side. Mm -hmm. Again, as soon as I said it, you got to like, I just see a lot of drinking and drugs. And then as soon as I said that, this popped out. Somebody definitely could have been drinking a lot. Again, another computer screen though. I don't know what it is with the computer screens. We have one, two, three. We have failure. It's like, wow, how could I miss this? How could I not know? How could I have taken so long to realize this? Whatever this is. I just use being woke as an example. So it's like you go from defeat to victory. I'm telling you, it's like you were stuck maybe in life in some in some way. And it's like now that you've had this truth come out or be, be, be told to you, it's like, oh, it, the, the puzzle, again, the puzzle, the puzzle pieces are starting to go together. Now you're starting to understand shit. You're starting to understand why people do certain shit. You're starting to understand why you went through certain things, why certain situations were presented to you. Uh, yeah. Okay. One more. Pleasure. You, you could have been one of those people that thought life was just about pleasure and having fun and eating what you want. And, but now it's like, wow, I, it's more to life than that. The star, somebody definitely, you could have healed also. You could have healed from toxic ways. Um, or you could be around an Aquarius. I'm going to pull some uh, affirmations cards for you, Kathy. Oh, two. Authenticity. Told you. Authenticity is the name of the game. Whatever comes up, I will feel it. Whatever needs to be said, I will say it. Whoever doesn't get it, doesn't have to get it. But at least they know it because I've said it. I told you when I said when you wake up and you try to tell everybody, just give them a tidbit and go. But you, you've told them. And that's way better than leaving passive-aggressive note about it. Then we have divine timing. Everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. I trust that the divine timing, the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. Ooh, yeah, truth, wisdom, authenticity, divine timing, something going on with you, Kathy, okay? But I'm happy for you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. And until next time, bye-bye.